everyone in this video we will be solving a problem based on momentum so let's get started here is the problem which reads a man throws a ball weighing 500 grams vertically upwards with a speed of 10 meters per second and we need to calculate what is the momentum I mean the initial momentum of the ball and the second thing that we need to do is what would be its momentum at the highest point of flight so first thing that we will do in solving uh, this problem is that we will list out whatever is information, whatever information is given to us by the question. So here the mass of the ball is given to be 500 grams and the initial speed with which the ball was thrown upwards is given to be 10 meters per second. Now the next step is, is that we need to see, we need to check whether all these quantities that the question has given to us are in SI units or not. So first of all we'll check the mass of the object. Now here we see that the mass is given in terms of grams which is not the SI unit of mass but the SI unit of mass is kilograms or kg. So first of all we need to con convert the physical quantities which are not given in SI units to SI units and if, uh, only then we can proceed to solve the problem. So let us convert this mass which is not in SI to SI units first of all. So here we know the relationship between gram and kilogram. So 1 gram is equals to 1 by 1000 kilograms. So 500 grams will be equal to 500 multiplied by 1 by 1000 kilograms which equals 0 0.5 kg in SI units. Now that we have converted this physical quantity that is the mass of an object to SI units, we can proceed to solve this problem. So the first thing that we need to calculate here is the initial momentum of the body. I mean the initial momentum in the sense the momentum that the ball possesses when it was thrown from the ground. Now we know that the initial momentum of the ball is given by the formula which is mass into velocity of that ball at that particular instant. So here the mass is given to us which is 0 0.5 kg after conversion to SI and the velocity we already have which is 10 meters per second. Now when we put these values here we get 0 0.5 multiplied by 10 which is 5 kg meters per second. Now here uh, you must not forget to mention the unit of any physical quantity while solving a problem or while writing it anywhere. So here the unit of momentum is kg meters per second. So I have uh, put the unit here. Without the unit physical, a physical quantity has no meaning at all. So it is, it is uh, of much importance that you, you put the units wherever required. Now this is the initial momentum with which the ball was thrown vertically upwards. So the second thing that we need to calculate is what would be its momentum at the highest point of its flight. So let's calculate that. Now whenever an object is thrown upwards, it reaches a particular height and then it falls down, falls back to the ground. Now at the particular height where, uh, where it has reached, I mean the maximum height where it has reached, at that point the velocity of the object becomes zero. It comes to rest at that point for a while and then it falls back to the ground. So the, at the highest point of flight of a body, the body has a velocity which is zero. So here the velocity of the ball at the highest point of flight will be zero meters per second and the mass of the ball still remains the same that is 0 0.5 kg. So here the momentum of the body will be 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 that is the mass multiplied by the velocity of the body. So this is found to be 0 since the body has come to rest at the topmost point. We know that the momentum of a body at rest is 0 and that's the reason why we got the answer also to be 0. So here the, at the highest point of flight the momentum of the body was found to be 0. Now this solves the whole problem and I hope the solution was understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning.